<clears throat> Hi there, so glad you're back. Ooh, I'm excited to share with you some great stuff today. I love telling you out, the th sharing with you the things that I've learned. And today, what are we going to talk about today? Today, we're going to talk about the next sequential step to building, you know, an online business and lead generating that keeps on giving and giving and giving, right? Because there is a process and there are some steps that when you follow them, make this so much easier. And when you put them into place and you get used to doing them, then you are constantly having leads come into your inbox, which are absolutely fantastic. Who doesn't love that, right? Hey, my name is Tammy Moretti. And what do I do? I work with baby boomers network marketers to help them build an online business step-by-step step to alleviate the confusion and save them some time and some money. So let's jump into it. Okay, so what's next? What do you do? Let's review. So figuring out who you are, what is important to you, where you what uh, you value most, your hobbies, interests, and things of that nature, number one. Number two, finding some Facebook, Facebook groups that also... Um, have the same kind of interests that you have as well and joining those groups and starting getting involved in the conversation by <clears throat> it's important that you hit uh, the like button and then you comment with three words or more that's super 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 important so what do you do next next you write out your sales process right so if you've been in network marketing for a while or you're a newbie you um, know, or you don't even have to be in network marketing. You've been in business. You, you can even work for somebody. You know the sales process. You start here with your client, and then there's a step, and then another step, and another step, and another step that typically is recommended to you by the company. Mm -hmm. If you're in network marketing, you're being taught this by your upline. Hopefully you have um, a back office that also teaches you these strategies and things, and the sales process to get your client from point A to actually making a purchase. Mm -hmm. You want to know that sales process. And if you don't know it, you can't rattle it off, that's totally A-OK, -okay. but you wanna write it out. Because as you're building this lead funnel online, the sales process is something that you're gonna be referring back to time and time and time again, because a lot of the action steps that you're gonna be taking are very, very similar just in, on a digital platform. Mm -hmm. So it's important that you know that. You could write it out in a, um, what do I wanna say, Roman numeral fashion, like an outline, you know, or you could just write step A, B, C, D, E, F, G, taking your client. Let's say for instance, here's an example, you met your client in a grocery store and you were chatting. You were in the produce section and you were trying to find the perfect avocado. Live in California, by the way, right? And you were talking about that. Next thing you know, um, you were able to take the conversation to the business, the service, or the product that you represent, offer, sell, right? It was a natural segue. She responded with, yeah, that sounds good, you know, and gave you her contact information uh, I always recommend an email is the best for you to send her some more information all right hopefully something free to continue to layer her or him and wet their whistle and give them more information about what you have to offer them inviting them into your world you do the same thing online and you nurture that relationship online. And there are specific steps, buttons you push, um, in the digital world to nurture that relationship when you meet someone online. But you need to know the process. You know, we absolutely need to know the process that we want to, the journey, the process that we want to take our ideal client on to get them uh, to the next step to uh, get them to say yes to your offer. So um, I'm the queen of winging it. I have done it on multiple occasions and had um, a lot of success doing that. But I have found 
as I've gotten busier and uh, more people, I have had more people to talk to, that having a system really has alleviated a lot of the stress and given me more confidence. And I hope that is the case for you as well. Um, it's easy to talk about something when you know what you're going to talk about. And then it even gets easier to talk about that something when it's second nature to you because you've talked about it so many times. Well, the sales process is exactly the same thing. When you know the sales process, the step-by-step -step, um, roadmap that you want your client, your ideal client to take, when you know that, like the back of your hand, engaging with them is so much easier. So this next step is for you to write that sales process down. And I'm a firm believer in pen to paper because I really believe that that helps solidify things. In addition to that, once you have it on pen to paper, um, on paper you can read it out loud. Read it out loud. I'm going to say that one more time. Read it out loud so you can hear. You can hear it. And so many times when I've written things down and then I said it looked great and I thought it was perfect and everything and then I read it out loud and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, ho, ho, ho. It didn't flow or I said the wrong thing or I had the wrong thing and uh, the right thing in the wrong place, you know, that kind of thing. So pen to paper, then reading it out loud is my recommendation. And then you can build on that because you're going to refer back to that sales process multiple times when you're engaging your potential client. Eventually, it'll become second nature to you and you won't need to reference it, but it's always good to have it handy because if you're in network marketing and you're building a team, you're also going to want to teach the very same thing to your uh, team members, right? Okay, so let's review really quickly. So you want to know who you are. Therefore, you will know who your ideal client is most of the time. This is true. More times than not, right? Then you also want to know where they hang out, which would be places that you would hang out. For sure. You want to start the conversation by just looking at the conversation thread on Facebook. We're talking about that platform in particular. And what they're talking about and commenting on comments. First, it's important that you hit the like button and then you comment on somebody's post with three words or more. Facebook loves that, absolutely loves that, okay? And that's something you want to do regularly, maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe just one time a week, every Monday at noon. However, it's like doing business in person. The more often you're talking to the people, the quicker you're going to build your business. The good news is online is you don't have to get out of the house. You can do all of this in the comfort of your own home, right? Um, but I do recommend that you get out, out of the house as well. You know, there is that for sure. We spend enough time in the house. And then knowing your sales process so you know the step-by-step -step process, which you're going to be referring to, to take your, per, your client um, to the part where they get to make a decision if they want to participate with you and what you have to offer them is something that they're interested in. And there's a whole bunch more of things that you already know that are part of each one of those steps, which I'm going to be elaborating on. I'm going to be putting together a free boot camp, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be taking a deep dive on each one of those things. I've got a couple more things that I'm going to share with you, so I hope you join me next week at the same time, about 12 o'clock. If you're a network marketer, you have a team, or if not, and you found value from this video, I really would like to encourage you to copy the link or hit the share button and share it to your page, to your team's page. And um, like I said, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. Let me know where you're from or, from, or if you have questions. I'd love to answer your questions. I read all the comments and uh, just have some fun with this. I'm excited to hear about your results and my hope for you is with the information that I'm imparting to you is that you start getting more comfortable um, moving from the one-on-one -on -one business model to the online space because it is unlimited but it takes a little bit of uh, practice like anything else does to become familiar with the terms how to operate and to build your confidence like anything else it's no different absolutely no different and remember 
that you have lived a few decades, baby boomers, and you do know what you're doing, and you have done hard things, and you are still here, and you are still standing, right? So I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. I'm in Yellowstone. No, I'm in uh, Yosemite right now with my girlfriends backpacking and having a ball, so I'll be sharing some more info and some pictures, hopefully, with you on my Facebook page. Looking forward to connecting with you again next week. God bless you.